four web track training second of four web track training sessions. And so today we're going to cover how to place a seed order and how to place a plant order. So what we'll do is we're going to have Dawn start and she's going to cover how to place a seed order. And we're going to ask that everyone watch their microphone and please try and stay muted until after she's done presenting. If you have questions while she's presenting, please feel free to go ahead and throw that in the chat line and the rest of us will do the best to answer as quickly as we can. Um, otherwise, when Dawn is done presenting how to place a seed order, we will open up the floor for questions and answers. Um, and once we're finished with that, then we'll have Mary Jo jump into how to place a plant order. So same thing, if you have questions when she's presenting, throw them in the chat line. Otherwise, we'll open up the mics afterwards for questions and answers to make sure we answer all of your guys' questions while you're here today. And then I'm sure you guys saw this meeting will be recorded and we will post it um, if you guys are not aware, I do have a YouTube page where I post web track trainings. And so we will post this recording afterwards so that you can revisit it and other people who are not able to attend can also watch it. So before we start real quick, there are five of us who are hosting this presentation today. And so two of us will be presenting. The other three of us will be in the chat lines helping answer all the questions. So we'll just go ahead and give a quick introduction to each of us and then we will jump into things and get started. So my name is Tasia Amavisca. I am based here out of Oregon and I work with some customers on the West Coast in the Pacific region. Hello everyone. My name is Sarah Houtsma and I work for the Southeast Southwest region. Hi, my name is Dave Dowling. I'm based out of Delaware and I help cut flower growers all across the country. Hi, my name is Mary Jo and I am based out of Ohio and I help growers in the Northeast and the Great Lakes regions. And hi, I'm Dawn Weimers and I live in California, but my territory is the Midwest. And um, I'm gonna be going on here with you to show you how to enter a seed order. Okay, so I went into my web track and um, like normal, and I'm going to, um, tell that I want to enter an order. So I'm in my normal web track. I'm going to go to, oh, not that one. I'm so sorry. Start over here. <laughs> I'm going to um, create an order. And um, so when, when you enter, go to create an order, you're going to have some options here for a seed. You, well, you can enter a seed order or you can enter a plant and plug order. We're going to do a seed order right now. Don, we see a Google screen. Okay, sorry. I don't know who um, Tina is, but you need to stop sharing your screen. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. At the bottom of the center, click on the green button and change that. <laughs> but John, Don, if you go to share, it'll kick her out. Okay. Okay, can you see my screen again? Everybody's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I saw that kind of threw me off too. I saw that pop up and I didn't know. Okay. So thanks. So we're going to go in and order and enter a seed order. So I'm going to tell it that I want to enter seed. I've got my account pulled up in the address I want it to go to. Um, there are different ways to enter a seed order and you can change the different ways of choosing your seed by pressing this. Um, I have mine set up so that when I order, I order by packages, not by seed count. But if you wanted to enter by seed count, you would press that and then you would get a lot of other options. These options will help um, you define what type of packaging you want, whether you want back orders, that sort of thing. They're pretty self-explanatory there. Um, but the way I, I do it is I enter it by packaging. For me, that's what I enjoy. So the, um, then you're gonna wanna pick your ship date. Now we ship seeds out Monday through Friday. Uh, the orders go out. If you get an order in by 5 p.m. Central Time, your order will ship that day. Sometimes it's busy on Mondays because of weekend orders and stuff. So uh, sometimes those don't go out on Monday, but um, typically they do unless if they're really busy. I personally like to enter a seed order not for the current day unless it's an emergency or somebody really needs their order right away. I like to do it for the next day. This way it allows me time to make any changes or um, do anything to it that I might need to. So then I'm gonna start the order. 
So this is the screen you're going to come into where you're going to pick your items that you want to um, choose to order. So I do have a list of what I'm looking for today. I'm going to pop it over here and show you. Uh, these are the seeds I'm going to look for today. This is, um, I'm going to move it off the screen, but just so you know, that's what I'm going to look for. Okay, so in this screen, I'm going to type here what I'm looking for. Now you can enter it in the least amount of letters as possible, because if you do misspell it, it will not pull up anything. So I'm just going to do impatient beacon mix. Okay, now I get a bunch of results. Um, so I'm going to explain to you what these are. This is this. If you hover over this, it's going to tell you the type of seed, what the little um, codes mean. So these are these are coded, which it says CT. And so you have you'll see it there. It says coded. You can also see like some will say OR, which is organic or PL, which is pelleted. SD is just raw seed. So that gives you and all you have to do is hold your cursor over that and it pops up. Um, so here I was going to do I was going to do beacon mix and it shows that there are several types of mix I actually have this entered in the wrong way than I was planning on entering it so we're going to do a little different this is entering it's entering it now by seed count not by the packages like I wanted to but if it another way if it pulls up that way and you're not used to it all you have to do is go back so I'm going to go back. I'm going to abandon my changes, which makes it really easy. And I want to change this preference because I want it to go. I want it to go by um, packages. And I'm going to save my default. Make sure this date is tomorrow, and let's start it again. So I was looking for impatience beacon mixed. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So I like I like to see the packages right in front of me rather than having to pull up a pop down to see them. So this is going to show me well, and, and I, you know, okay, I didn't realize there was a whole bunch of different mixes. This is great because in WebTrack we show you pictures of everything that is available. Most things have a picture. They'll also have, um, if it's in blue, you can click on it and it opens up a description with information on that product. There's other things that you can um, download. This one has a cultural guide. These are other things or things in more information about this product. Um, I can keep scrolling down. There's lots of, there's more of the colors. Um, really, really helpful information if you're not sure or you have questions about what you're ordering. All the information's right there for you. So I'll just click back out of that. Um, and I can say, oh, wait, there's these other mixes. Okay, I, I really like these other mixes let me look at them you know and you can click on them and see what you want which is really good but okay so I wanted to order 800 seed I'm just going to do the regular mix so I look here this is telling me that there's eight two thousand five hundred eighty four packages of 1,000 count this is 10,000 count this is 50,000 count packets so I was only wanting eight 800 they don't have it in 100 counts so i'm going to order a thousand so what i would put in here is just one because i only want 1000 packet and right here would give me the seed count a thousand if i scroll over here and click on price it'll give me the price the price pops up it is 30 dollars and 50 cents per 1000 so remember all the seed is priced per 1000 and um, but it will tell you there, explaining it to you. So then you just close out of that and it looks right. So I'm going to add my next item. You don't even, you don't have to hit anything. It just adds it to a cart. So I'm looking for tomato sun gold. So I'm gonna, gonna hit enter. And um, these are all the sun gold packets that come up. So there, this one does have a hundred count. It has a coded. If I look down, it's a thousand count, a five thousand count. Oh, that it has the SD, which is just raw seed in a hundred count packet, a thousand count packet, and five thousand count packet. They all are available because there's numbers there. So I wanted three hundred. 
So I'm going to, and I want, I'll just do raw seed. I, if I need to, I can compare the pricing. I see raw seed is 193.60 per thousand. And I want to compare it to the coded. So it's a little bit more expensive. So you can choose it that way. Help That helps you decide what you want. Um, but I'm going to, I just need 300. So I'm going to order the regular seed and I want to do three, three packages of them. So I'm not typing in the 300. I'm just want three 100 packets and it tells me right here, 300. Okay, so then now that's ordered. I'm going to add one more item. I need a geranium rose. I don't really know the varieties. I just know I would need a rose geranium. Sorry, see, spell it wrong. I spelled it wrong. Geranium rose. And it's going to start pulling up all the geraniums. Now I can see this is this is an ivy geranium. I don't need an ivy geranium. I want a zonal. So I'm just going to keep scrolling down. So here, these are the zonals. Um, notice here where there is no number up here on this box. That's because they're not currently available. They're back ordered to June 12th, but there is a box here, so I can put a number in. If I wanted to order them, they would just go on back order. Um, if there's ever a, like here, this Maverick Rose is not available. There's no box, I can't back order it. It does show that the seed will be available August 11th. Sometimes it would let you back order it for whatever reason, it's not letting you back order this. Maybe they're not sure about this um, ready date. So I'm going to order, just so that I can show you how back order works, I'm gonna order this Maverick Star because I can look here too and see what rose color I want. I can read all about them uh, by clicking on the information and see what I like and look at the colors. And I'm gonna choose this Maverick. And, I, and it's a, I'm gonna choose this, the seed and I want uh, in the 100, so I want 500. So I'm gonna choose a 100 packet but I only want 500 of them, so I'm gonna choose five. And it popped 500 up there, and it says back ordered. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my cart. Those are the only three items I was looking for. This is when I get to my cart. I can, um, if I forgot something, you can just click here and it takes you right back to add more items. If I decide that I wanted to um, delete something, I can click it here and hit cancel. It will cancel the whole item. I can change it if I decide to change this to, I only want 300, I can change it to a three right now. Um, if I wanted to change all of these to a different date, I can click here and then I can uh, change the date of them. Um, also, you've got your view pricing. You can click here and it will, you can view the pricing and it pops it out here. This is the pricing per thousand and this is the extended pricing. So for five, 500 seeds, it's 73.50. And this is where I'm gonna double check my order too to make sure I'm ordering the right amount. So I want 500 of the geraniums. I wanted a thousand of the impatients and 300, which is three packets of the Sun Gold tomatoes. This is my, this is my, and I'm gonna look at this too, because this is what's gonna tell me if I ordered to, if I ordered incorrectly. Because if I would have put 500 on here, it would have been a lot more seed and the amount would have been way higher and that would have brought me up a red flag. So with ball, um, with seed, anything over $75 ships free. If it's under $75, it's $9.95 and to ship it. And with this, because this is back ordered, because this was with an order that was over the $75, it will ship free when the back order comes. It's going to ship free. Um, so anything that's on back order does ship free. Also, please note that just because it, you have a back order date of when you think it'll be they'll be shipping, that doesn't always me, they, they sometimes do change the dates. So um, you can always keep checking on that. So once I know that everything is looks good, I can hit um, finish now. 
And then this pop up comes up just telling me it's popped up because I have a back order and it's saying, hey, you have a back order. Are you sure you want to keep this or do you want to look for something else that could be um, available now? So I know it has a back order. So no, I want to continue. And then this is where I uh, this is where I'm going to check out. So um, here you can change this to a PO, whatever PO number you want. You just click over it and type over it. Um, if there, it's for a certain job or a certain customer, or if I want to put annual seed in there, whatever I want to put to help me reference it, I can type in here. Um, I can see that my shipping is free. If I need it ex like sent to me um, expedited, I can click here and it's going to be $29.95, but sending it at that charge is, works for me. Um, then I can click here and here's my email address and it will, when it's all done, it's going to email me the order confirmation so that I can check it. So then I would just click payment detail and it would just go through your whatever uh, you have for payment on in our system and it would finish your order. Does anybody have any questions about that? Let me see if I... It doesn't look like we've had any questions in the chat line. So if anyone does have any questions on anything pertaining to ordering seed um, or placing an order through WebTrack, please feel free to throw them in the chat or turn your mic on and ask a question. I'll just make one quick comment in the customer reference field. I always like to put something in there, especially if your customer has dozens of orders. It makes it easier to find that order later because that would say impatient seed or you know tulips, dahlias. You know, Lizzie Anthus plugs. So you can find that order later when you look at your list and you've got 20 orders in the system. You're trying to find that order that you want to make an adjustment to, or maybe just print that order again. It makes it easier to find it if you have the a description of what's on that order. That is very true. Thank you, Dave. Yes, it does make it a lot easier when you're looking at your whole list on web track of all your orders. You can easily find it. Okay. Hey. So um, I believe that um, Tasia is answering the question about when and where can we view the presentation again. So that will be posted with a link. Uh, for Michelle M, for can you have more than one email for the order confirmation? Unfortunately, you're only allowed to have one email in that email address. Um, but an option can be, I know we talk about next time doing the view change. You're more than welcome. We can probably have that um, re-emailed out using... Um, editing the order. So you'll see that next time. And if you had any questions about why in their order confirmation um, and you're still learning web track, I definitely encourage you to give a call to the color link office because they'd be more than happy to as well. Just resend you the order confirmation. But yes, unfortunately, there's only one email address that's allowed for that part. Okay, and Carol, um, you're asking for suppliers. Well, right now we're doing seed, and seed is only one supplier. That's Ball Seed. Uh, when Mary Jo does the plugs next, that's when we you have um, option for suppliers, and she'll show you how that goes. So that it's on the next explanation. And then and there should all... go ahead, Tasia. I'll go ahead real quick. So like when Don was showing us on the screen and it would say there were five packages available, if you were looking at ordering more than five packages, say you needed more product, you could look at the far right, there was a note section, which will tell you when more seeds should be in stock. So that's helpful. If there's a back order, it's going to tell you when we expect to get product in next. But otherwise, that note se section in general will just tell you when we should have more of that seed available. And then to answer Jennifer's question, there really is not a specific tag or way to filter just cut flower varieties. I would suggest in the cut flower um, seed catalog, there is a section for cut flower um, specific seed. Um, Dave might have more thoughts or suggestions, but I believe um, that would be my, my go-to thought process. But yeah, for the cut flowers, there is no way to sort seeds for just cut flowers other than um, <clears throat> some things when you type in if you go mary joe or dawn to search lizzie cf just l-i-s-i l-i-s-i-c-f a lot of the cut flower varieties with no space okay a lot of the cut flower varieties have either cf right after it cf says lizzie cf so if you're looking for lizzie anthus cut flower and puts lizzie cf mm -hmm. it's all going to show the cut flower lizzie anthus not the bedding plant type the other thing in the <clears throat> plug ordering that Mary Jo is going to do, there is a filter on the left here. Um, Mary Jo or Dawn, if you click on the upper left, the blue filter here on the left, the blue bar, blue bar on the far left, that does open up 
and lets you filter for cut flowers, but not every cut flower is labeled as a cut flower. So there's lots of things that cut flower growers grow that are bedding plants also. Way on the left, Dawn. Um, over here, sorry. That I opens up and then you can filter and toward the bottom. There's a spot where you can pick cut flowers. But again, there's lots of things that might not be labeled as a cut flower in the system because it's considered a bedding plant, but lots of cut flower growers grow it. And that's showing there's only 312 Lysianthus varieties. Apply under product. If you, hit, if you hit apply now, right to the left of your cursor. Oh, you want me to do it? Okay. And then that's going to get rid of, it's just going to show you the Lysianthus cut flower varieties. I would also mention that if you went into the search bar and you just did the asterisk CF, does that does as well pull up like Celosia cut flower? Um, it's going to pull up all the Lysianthus. So if you're looking, um, sometimes it does provide some more cut flower than just the Lizzie's. So um, web track's fun. And I always say, if you ever are curious and you're ever trying to find something and you can't find it, feel free to reach out to us because we might have um, a different way of searching or we might be able to just find it for you. So definitely don't be um, discouraged or just nervous about it. We're here to help you out with this. So. Yeah, and don't be afraid to try, I mean, place an order. You can always delete items. You can always take it off. As long as you're not going all the way out and paying for it, you're you're able to get rid of it. So don't be afraid to I'm gonna, of hitting the wrong thing or anything like that. You can easily go back to the cart. You take things off. It's very easy. I could just zero that out, update the cart, and it's gone. See how easy that is. So, okay. I think we're ready for Mary Jo then. All right, I'll go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so again, I'm Mary Jo and I am going to show you today how to book a plant order. So just as we did for seed, we'll start at the homepage and we'll go to create orders, search inventory. thinking, thinking, and you'll choose the correct ship to location for the delivery of your order. Next section, you'll choose which products you want to order. In this case, we're gonna pick the plants. This is where you would order anything from bulb besides seed. So you'll order your plants, plugs, bulbs, greenhouse supplies, hard goods here. Next, you'll select the ship date. In this instance, I'm looking for something in the next few weeks. You can choose by the date or the week number. The date will automatically default to the Monday of the ship week selected. So you will have the option to change the ship date on the next screen, and you will see that WebTrack will also display the availability for surrounding weeks of what you're looking for, and you can always kind of scroll through. So you're not locked into the ship date, but um, I'm going to go ahead and select week 12 and start new order. So I do have a little wish list here today, and then I'll, I'll happily look at searching some different cut flower varieties too. I know there's some cut flower growers on. Um, so I'm gonna be looking for some trays of Calabrocoa, hopefully the Cabaret series, some Lantana and Coleus. So just as Dawn did with the seed, I'm going to just search for portions of the word of the variety that I'm looking for. So in this instance, I'll type in Cali, Cab, and I'll start by looking for a purple one. <clears throat> Some preferred supplier codes are auto-generated in this box. If you want to look for a specific supplier, you can use this search button here, and you can narrow it down to search within your region by miles away from you, or you can search only gold suppliers. In this case, I'm going to search all availability because I'm looking for something just in the next couple of weeks. And I'll clear the box out by pressing this X. Here we get to select if we want to see all products or only available. So I'm going to select only available and hit search. All righty. So now you can see that even though I put in purple, it's coming up with other varieties in the purple family, such as Goodnight Kiss, um, Lavender. And um, if you want to know more, just like in the seed, more about these varieties, you can click in and see culture guidelines, grower information, 
Some of them have special videos, additional photos. So it's some very helpful information and you can see some good close-ups of the varieties. So once I've selected a purple variety, I wanna see here what suppliers they're offered for at. So I really do like this Goodnight Kiss and I can see here, I can view the pricing and it's 85.13 per 100. This one is offered in trays of 100. And if I click on the supplier itself, you'll see additional information about the supplier, such as their order minimums, the amount of plants that come in their case, and whether or not they mix tray sizes in a case. Some really helpful information here when you're booking orders or trying to choose a supplier to, to order from. Um, in this case, I see that six 102 liners fill a case. I want to fill that case because the plants arrive better. They don't have any room to shift around at the boxes. And I'm also not paying for freight um, for something that, you know, for empty space in the box. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one tray of the Goodnight Kiss from Dickman. Here, if I just enter a one in the box, it will auto populate the minimum order that you can get of this variety. That's the same for bulbs. If you're ordering a bag versus a crate, you, it'll, if you just put a one in there, it'll pop up whether the minimum is 25 and that's just a bag, or if it's a full crate, it'll go up to possibly 100 or 500, depending on the bulb and the bulb size. Alrighty, so next I'm gonna go ahead and look for a Calibrecoa Blue. Since I know that I've already started a box at Dickman, I'm gonna go ahead and select just Dickman as the supplier to view what is at there in their inventory. So I'll go ahead and apply that. It puts their supplier code right in there and I'll go ahead and hit search again. So this narrows it down to only the blue cabarets available at Dickman. I'll go ahead and add another tray of blue deep. At any time in your order, you can go ahead and click showcase totals and it'll tell you, you've got two trays in your box, 399. Sometimes the math is not exactly correct, but I know I need four additional trays. I need six total trays to fill up that box at Dickman. So I'll go ahead and add real quick a red Calibrecoa and a pink Calibrecoa. Now we'll switch it up and we will take a look at the coleus they have available. I want to see all of their coleus they have available. So I'll just go ahead and click coleus and search. I can see here the different varieties and the different tray sizes. So here we've got a liner 102 and a split 102. So if you want more information on the sizes in the forms, you can hover over the question mark just as you could in the seed. So a split 102 is half of a tray of 102. I'm looking for full, full trays here. And um, you can go in depth and go into these varieties and pick which one you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and get a trusty rusty. And I can see here that I just need one more tray to fill my case. Now, I know one of the questions on the chat line asked how you could see anything available from that supplier in the coming weeks. If you really want to see everything, there are some tricks. The search for button, the search for field will find anything kind of in this whole field here. So if you want to just put the name of the supplier in, it may take it a minute to think, but it's going to actually pull up everything available and you can scroll through them. If you know, it's a little bit more helpful if you know at least the species you're looking for, and you can type in coleus, lantana, calibrecoa, et cetera. Um, but you can actually see everything that is available. See, it starts out with angelonia, and we would scroll through, and you could see exactly here what they've got. Last but not least, I'm going to add a lantana to my order.
So I can see here, they've got a lot of varieties, but they're sold out until the next week. I really want something next week. So I'm going to keep scrolling. If I couldn't find anything, I could think about moving my order to week 13, where there are some lantanas available. Okay, but there are some here. I'm going to go ahead and pick a hot blooded red and... Now that I've got my full case, I am going to review that and review my cart. Here in the cart, we can see exactly what we've got in our box, as well as viewing the pricing. This is exactly like Dawn showed on the seed order. So you can kind of just take a final look, note this pricing will not include freight charges. You can get more information about freight charges in that supplier information, as well as by reaching out to us if you need any freight quotes. Once I verify that this is all correct, I'll go ahead and hit finish now. I'm going to select it to send me an email. And I'll also go ahead and enter a reference here, just annuals. If you have PO numbers that you use for your business, you can enter one here. And ship methods. I suggest leaving it as ship best way. This is also where you would pick customer pickup if you would like to pick it up if you're close enough to the supplier. And here is where you will see what tag tags are offered. So the tags are automatically defaulting to get one tag per plant. If you don't want any tags, you would select zero tags per plant. If you need a lower tag ratio, you can select three tags per plant, et cetera. If you only want to change the tag ratio for one variety of plant, you can open this plus sign here and you can scroll down and see that it gives you the option to change it for each variety. Say you do not want tags for your coleus, you can go ahead and take them off. Now, once you've finished filling all of this out and you've got your tags finalized, you just hit payment details and submit order. That will automatically um, bring you to the payment page. And then once you submit your payment, it will send you a confirmation. I am going to go ahead and open it up for any questions you may have. I know we've got some questions in the chat. I am seeing here. Okay, well, we've been like cleaning it up, Mary Jo. Okay, it looks like everybody's <laughs> been cleaning it up. Thank you. If there One are any helpful other thing. questions, anything in so I just thought of this. I think it's helpful. Um, so, and Mary Jo, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember if you covered it. I don't think I saw you do it. Um, when you're looking on like the search screen and you're searching for different products and stuff, and you're not sure like the tray sizes, because there's, you know, there's S liners or split liners, there's liners, this, that, whatever. And you're not sure what the actual tray size is. You can always enter the number one and WebTrack is going to auto correct to mm -hmm. that tray size. So if you type in one and it's a split 102, it's probably going to correct to 50 or 51. And there if you go. order right here. Yeah. So this one should default to 50. And now you see that would be the last one. So it is now marked as sold out because you're holding that last one in. And this is great. Like if you are a cut flower grower and you're ordering from any flower bulbs and you're not sure how many items are in a crate, um, it should say under the name, like, you know, order this for the full crate. A full crate is this many units. But just in case, if you want to double check, put in a one there, it's going to auto correct to the crate. <laughs> or if you choose a bag, it's going to auto correct to the um, minimum number that's in a bag. Also, I'd like to add that if you're entering a, an item that's custom and it's a custom, say a custom, you know, 180, one, 128, it's going to, you type in 128, it's going to automatically give you two trays. Custom means two trays. So that can sometimes at the end, you're like, but I only put one in and I don't understand why it keeps going to two. It's because it's custom and you have to put two in. One other thing I'll throw out there is for the showcase totals, if you're ordering product from Edney, it doesn't always do the math right. As long as you've met the $250 minimum, you don't have to worry about filling cases at Edney because it the web track doesn't know that you can put tulips and daffodils in the same box and it's trying to put them in two boxes and showing each one's only half full 
when in reality you have a full box. I would also mention um, Mary Jo as well. Um, so if you ever want to actually look at what's available like on an Excel sheet, there is that option to download results. And that allows you to actually have more of a Excel file so you can actually do some filtering, different things like that. So that is always an option as well. And when you download that results, you can email it to yourself with the prices. So if you're trying to compare prices between a whole bunch of different plants, so you can do that. Um, if it's a smaller file, you can download the file directly to your computer without, without emailing it to yourself. But if it's a large file, like she just had the one that was everything that Dickman had, you have to email it to yourself. And if you want to email, if you want prices, you have to email that to yourself. So we, we got one question on how do you search if an item is sold out for many weeks? Example, Lysianthus. What I do, honestly, um, so I would probably put in a search for Lysiantha. So you make sure that you're pulling open any suppliers that could have it. So I would clear that supplier search bar. And then honestly, what I do is I kind of filter and I just hit next three weeks, next three weeks, next three weeks until I find something. The other thing that you can do is if you are running into that issue, call whoever it is you work with at Ball, whether you um, work with a ColorLink office, you work with one of us, you work with a rep call them or email them and ask, because we might be able to see something on our side that you can't, or we might be more familiar with that supplier's program and give you a better indication of when you would find something. And I'll answer Brenda's question about how to order succession planting of lilies. Now, if you want to plant lilies every three weeks, how do you do that? You can, in this order window that's on the screen right now, you can enter orders for multiple weeks. So in other words, right now it's showing March 20th, you could order a bunch of lilies for March 20th and then use the three weeks to the right button that you see on the right side of the screen right now and move forward three weeks or six weeks, whatever you wanna do, enter another order in the same column. Then we go to checkout, it'll split that into two orders for the two different ship dates or 10 different ship dates if you want. Another option, if you wanna order the same lilies and get them every three weeks, so you can place that one order. Then there's a way to just keep copying that order to a new date with the same items, the same quantity. And one helpful tip to check when you check out. So like Dave said, you can place multiple orders at the same time. Um, the other thing is if you have ordered from Ball Tagawa before or Tagawa Greenhouse, you might be familiar with that they package their cases kind of funny. Like the plugs don't necessarily package with the liners. They actually split into separate orders. And one way, one way that you can check that is like Mary Jo and Dawn were showing us on that final screen, you should see one row of boxes per one order. So if you go to check out and you're seeing multiple rows of boxes with the same, you know, enter a customer PO, customer reference, um, those fields, that means you have multiple orders. So if you're on the finish screen and you see three of those rows, you have three of those orders. So that's an indication that you have either accidentally chosen different ship dates, um, if you're not purposefully trying to do that, or that the supplier cannot actually package those things together. And I can share my screen and show that like if this if I wanted to change this to a different week, a different date. Um, just so I can show you what that looks like. So I've got um, two ship dates here and then I finish now. It'll have um, and see when I don't make your minimum, it tells you so I'm going to continue, but see how it has two different windows. Or two, that's because it's in two different orders, ship week 10, ship week 11. And it'll do the same for your plugs. And if you're a cut flower grower, you probably saw in the last month or two that any um, will now be splitting orders that are different classes. So you might be ordering calla lilies and dahlias together on the same order for the same ship week and see this at the end screen as well. So I know that any will try and still ship product together um, to be efficient with shipping when they can, um, but just know that you might see those two rows of boxes at the end because of that as well. Anybody else have any other questions about um, searching for an order or inventory? Um, it's vice versa for that button. So even when you're about to search, you just wanna look up Lysianthus, you're still gonna say, 
um, create and order the same button? Because some people always have those questions. Like, I'm not ready to create an order, but I just want to look at an inventory. So mm -hmm. know that it's all in that one button. Yeah, don't be afraid. You, you, unless, like I said, unless you get to the checkout part, you're not buying anything. Yeah, you can't make any mistake until you put your payment information in there and say finish order. That's right. Yes. And if you're holding an order for later, just know that everybody is able to use to grab from that unless it's finalized. So if you go in there and you put some things on an order and then you're going to come back to it in a couple of days, there are things that could be gone if the numbers were low. Okay. Any other questions? I think then we're probably ready to wrap up. Um, so I did put the link in our chat for my YouTube page that I have. Um, and I will, within the next few days, post this to the YouTube page so that you will be able to reference this video. Um, I also have a few other helpful videos that you might find on there as well. So if you did not get the link to that YouTube page or you don't remember after this, um, please reach out to one of us or to ColorLink or whoever it is that you work with at Ball and we will get you that YouTube link so then you can access these videos in the future. I'm also going to mention that we have our um, viewer change order in WebTrack. Our next training session is going to be in May, beginning of May. So just keep an eye out. We're going to be sending out that link as well. So um, this is a four part series. So we are just finished the second part. There's one more quick question. Candace asks about, is this not the case for ball borders in the fall? Um, in the fall, ball borders will still separate some, like ranunculus will not be on the same order as tulips. Um, peonies will always be on the separate order, but daffodils and tulips can go on the same order. WebTrack will know what needs to be split apart after you place your order, but you can enter them all together. It's in the checkout process that it will separate into separate orders if need be. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Continued real quick. I mean, finishing the orders since we're not paying until fall. You always want to finish the orders and check out. You never pay for the orders and ball until they're shipped to you, but you always have to go through the complete process, process of checking out, putting in your payment information, and then finalize the order. The main screen will go away and you get a little small skinny screen that says, here's your order number and the date of shipping. You have to complete the order or the stuff's not held for you, um, but your credit card's not charged till it actually ships. Perfect. Okay. Thank you guys. Everyone have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Bye everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>